Hello, everybody. My camera is wrong. <laughs> we can't have anything nice today. No, we're not allowed. All right. So, say hi, Cleo. Hi, Cleo. There she is. <laughs> um. Sudden Mike gave you a heart attack. Were you... Did, did... Hi, Tyron, Tyron. You, T. Hi. Uh, it's spelled Tyron, but it's pronounced Throat Wobbler Mangrove. Alright, hi, Throat Wobbler Mangrove. <laughs> That's a weird spelling, but okay. Um, welcome back to Draken, everybody. Um... Let us, let me know if, let me know if Cleo is clearly audible. I had to change some of my volume settings, um, because her Discord had all of the unhelpful settings turned on. So we had yeah, to. I don't know about this stuff. <laughs> Look, it's not your fault. Nobody knows about this stuff. Okay, good. Um, let me just pull up the filters here. I think we broke Throat Wobbler Mangrove. <laughs> like you do. So, fun story. You remember I told you I had to order a, uh, I had to order an eight terabyte hard drive because uh, our new recording setup is filling up my hard drive incredibly fast. Yeah. Um. Well, I ordered it, and it said it wasn't going to be here until, like, February 8th. It's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. And since it was a since it was a pretty solid bargain, like, I got it for about 100 bucks, $110. And, like, a 6 terabyte drive of the same type was, like, 140 so it was, like, hefty, hefty sale, right? Um... So I was like, oh, bummer, it's not going to get here until, like, February 7th. You know, I was kind of hoping to get it here, like, a little sooner so I could start offloading those videos because I am filling up real quick. Um, so I can't remember why I did it, but I went to... I was looking over the orders, right? And I clicked the hard drive, and I noticed that it said free two-day shipping on it. It was like, in stock, two-day shipping. And I'm like, what? Okay. And they hadn't charged me for the other hard, for the hard drive I'd ordered yet. It was, you know, sitting, waiting to be ordered, I guess. Sometimes Amazon does that. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, I canceled the order. I, like, I canceled that item. And then I just ordered it again. And now it'll be here in a couple of days. Nice. I don't, I don't understand, Amazon, why? I'm gonna guess somebody just, I'm gonna guess somebody just, uh, got their, anyway. Anyway. My, my brain shut down. Alright, I'm gonna- Is there a little dude playing, like, praying by that altar? Yes. Huh. And he's got the he's got the chaos emeralds. And you, uh, you know what sucks for him? Dragon Sparkly Eyes is writing things on a tombstone, clearly quite a distance away. And it, but, like can't even see them. Gonna that, have to run over there. That's true. Also, you know what else sucks for him? This dude can interact with this with that dragon's dong in exactly zero <laughs> ways. <laughs> like that. Sort of like hang off of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like dragon twitches, he goes flying. <laughs> like he's got he can't like he can't he can't he can't stroke it because like the full range of his arm movement is like the equivalent of a couple of millimeters. <laughs> right? Is, there's there's nothing he can do. What a useless follower. A ping 69. Nice. Can we help you in this? 
Just before Christmas, I ordered some stuff, and a day later, a parcel was delivered inside the Amazon box, clearly addressed to him, with someone else's Amazon parcel, with some random stuff in it, presumably what they had ordered. How does that happen? I'll tell you how it happens. You have a warehouse full of people who are half-conscious and potentially actually dead. And somebody just grabs a sticker, slaps it on a box, and ships it out, and is like, fuck this job, I'm going home. <laughs> Can I help you? It's not time yet. Boom. Boom. It is not. Do you need to go out or something? That's not it? Uh. I don't know what you want, but it's not time yet. Is Cleo. it because I'm looking at something that isn't you? Cleo is addressing dog. Is it because I'm talking to someone that isn't you and you can't hear them and you're confused? You're not coming up here. You're not. <laughs> this, is, this is not that kind of chair. Every time I see all caps in chat, it's like, DOGGO! <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, it has been a hot minute since we've played this, so, uh, Cleo may need to refresh again. I should probably pull up that drac and walk through, actually, just in case. Yeah, we might have to walk backwards over some sparkly lines. Uh, Why are you so needy? Flying omelet, that's the so one. Needy? All right. All right. So we were still on part one. Mm -hmm. There are apparently seven we, parts. We left off with me outside of the healing thing, and refusing to go further. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or did we? I think we made a mad sprint across the lines again, and then I died. Or something. Does anybody remember? No. Doggo gets pets throughout Wobbler Mangrove and <laughs> and outside and treats and she never catches squirrels. She's not that kind of fast. She's um my my dog is built like a like an angry tank and filled with pudding. Ursa is not the Ursa is not the DPS in the doggo party. Yeah. <clears throat> uh uh chat uh let let me know what you think uh th what dogs you think fulfill the different uh gameplay roles of a party. Like wh what dog is the AoE crowd control and what dog is the healer? <laughs> nah, she's a she's a. <laughs> it is a good description of a full <laughs> dog. <laughs> no, she's a, a Rottweiler American Staffordshire cross. So a pet bull. Pet bull. But you can like really see the Rottweiler once you like know it's there got that kind of build but just like a little bit more slender just a little bit shorter oh okay we had just gotten to we had just gotten eaten by sharks hadn't we <laughs> yes <laughs> oh. okay i love bulldogs they're so cute i think it's a tr it's like an atrocity of breeding but they're just they're just Lumps. <laughs> they are cute. They're couch potatoes. You know what I wish I'd done before we started streaming? I wish I'd gone and bought like a candy bar. Okay, I need both hands, Mr. Bear. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and why don't we go ahead and get started? Ursa, no, I'm busy. Oh my god, you're cute. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, I laughed. She's gonna do it more. All right, switch into game mode. Here we go. Whoop. Okay. All right. 
Are we ready? Yes. Let's go. It's game time. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> I need two hands, Ursa. You can't hold your paw. Oh god, okay. Okay. Um, and remember that standing still does not make you immune from enemy attacks. All right, so that that castle in front of us, this is the this is the shark castle. Oh, uh, this is the shark one. So we're not we're we're not. This is where we have that. to go. But I I can't get past the fucking sharks. The quest requires that we be here. We will have to find out how to get past shark. I I can't get past the sharks. <laughs> this is this is a quitter attitude. Do I have to fight them? Like we we just we just save the game so like if you get eaten by sharks we just reload the save. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> they go oh, so I guess they go so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is uh, exactly what happened last time. <laughs> Alas. No. <laughs> Ex I? Explain to me why dragons filling the skies is a bad thing. <laughs> okay, um, how do I get over this menu thing? Uh, just hit X until you go through it. And then it will game over you. And <laughs> back to the title- or, no, back to- Oh, it just reloads the last save. That's handy. So we don't have to- so we don't have to menu. Alright, so how- How, how could we how get past we... Shark? I don't- I don't want to be out here after dark. The weird owl thing will get me. Yeah. Well, the shark doesn't get you unless you try to. Uh, the shark doesn't get you unless you cross the moat. So, oh, uh, do you remember to smash? Okay, you remember. <laughs> you remember the one mechanic you need to know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. So. Oh. In front right. of castle is safe. Oh no. What the hell right. was that? I don't. I <laughs> looked like a Squidward. Was some dude? Was a handsome Squidward or just Squidward? Okay, just Squidward. we're in front of the castle. Apparently safe. Yeah. The Except I, I think that shark is looking at me funny. Like look at him speeding <laughs> up. Do 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 do. He's just having. He's just having a good time. Um. All right. What if? All right. What if you move your dude to like? at the base of the moat, right? So like, not crossing the moat, you're like just right at the bottom of the bridge. And then, as soon as the shark appears on the right, so like he has to do a whole nother circuit, that's when you go. That was a little bit too early, I think. But you know what, we can try it again with, uh, with this person. Aha! Aha! Okay, okay. We did it. Okay, now, so... Now I'm dead. Alright, so leave, <laughs> get killed by shark, and then reload save. Okay. Because this isn't D&D, &D, this is a video game. We, we scum, we save scum here. No, I need to go back. Shark! Or death. <laughs> that's, that's... Okay, what? Now you won't eat me? No, you have to cross you the bridge to get eaten. Bitch. Also, you just jesus your way onto that moat? I saw that. <laughs> it's so fast. Da, da, uh. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, that's some that's some Sierra adventure game shit right there. Whoop. What you fuck? <laughs> God, it, that timing is really tight, apparently. <laughs> All right. Can I get in the <laughs> Womp. Very well fed shark. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Sharknado's got nothing on this shark. What we need, clearly, is a chainsaw. For the shark? Yes. Okay. So that you can so that you can kill it from inside. 
Uh, excuse me. You clear. Oops. God damn fucking shit. Fuck. <laughs> Yes, I know everyone's gonna die, okay? You know how people sometimes talk about retro games? Like, they don't make games like this anymore, like, uh, Thank modern- the fucking gods! <laughs> modern games are so crap! <laughs> you, you, you gotta do it, like, right after the shark appears to the right of the moat. Troops block the Troops? way! What? What? Without a permit, you cannot- What? Excuse me? What? What is- I- What? <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> what just- What just happened? I don't know. You got eaten by shark, and then you reappeared and walked through the moat. Is that what you saw? I mean, I had to start the game over. No, but like literally just now, you got eaten by shark, and then you reappeared and walked in. Did I, did did I did I get a? I I might have gotten I might have gotten some lag that made it weird. All right, well we're in here. You have just stepped into the castle of the Earth Prince Hordkin. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... That was it? Okay. So I think, I think now we have to tell Hordkin that his sister or his wife or his sister wife or whatever is is dead or her castle is destroyed or whatever. Uh, how do I... <laughs> Shark comes out of the water is like, Halt! Show me your permit. How do I use the... Uh... It's one of the face buttons. I forget which one. Just press face buttons until you see the menu. The little hand, the little icon appear on the menu. There we go. Ah. Ha. Three balls. Three. Okay. The element symbols from the left are earth, fire, air, and water. Okay, neat. So one of these buttons, if I recall correctly, makes the electricity Earth. go away. Is he an Earth Dragon? I think so. But I... From the left are fire, earth, air, and water. Okay, uh... Okay. Get out! Only those with permission may enter here. Oh, we're fighting. American. Oh, you got some jade. Neat. All right. Uh. Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. so it was the earth button, huh? I think you figured out how you were actually supposed to solve that puzzle. Brute forcing it. Well, no, it was, he's an earth dragon, so you oh, press the neat. you press the earth button. You hear a weird noise. You hear a weird noise coming from the next room. All right. Excuse me. You can't have any more. No more torches <laughs> for you. You've got too many. Whoa, Spoder. Death to Spoder. Now I think if you just. Oh, more spoder. Exploding spoder. This is going on for a minute. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Doomkampf got empty file and a force ring. Okay. What Come the on. hell? Where are all these spoders coming from? They weren't here last time. We weren't here last time. A war ring. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we were. Now, this was. We this, leave. This is this is Hordkin's. Whoop. Well. 
All right, what the hell is this shit? We leave. This is just endless spoders. My fighter's <laughs> dead. I guess we gotta go find that temple again. Where's the fighter? I don't know. Somebody doesn't have pants on. It... Uh... You feel a slight breeze from below the drapes. Probably because you don't have pants on. I'm hungry. Why is there a breeze? Um... I don't know. Why is that an important feature? Is the question. Oh, there was a hidden door. Swords. Swords. Why are we wandering around like this, people? Because they have a they have a set position that they want to take, but there's a bench in the way. So now they're just playing Ring Around the Rosie. You can't have any more. I want them. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Track in the head. All right, ladies, get him. <laughs> oh, her nerve got buckler. Uh, now I believe if you just hang out for a little while, your characters will recover hit points. Yeah. So if you need to recover hit points, you can just chill for a bit, and we can have, uh, we can have. Jolly conversation. So, uh... How about the Mariners, huh? <laughs> you know, baseball. They're the Mariners... No, I don't. You know I don't. They play, they play baseball. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Can I put photos in the chat? Photos in the chat? No. Yeah. Aw, I was gonna send a picture of my booper snoot. <laughs> Your what? <laughs> that my booper snoot. Those kind of pictures are exactly why you can't put pictures in chat. <laughs> my dog, you dumbass. Oh. <laughs> You could put it in the Discord. Put old yes, Ursa in bag of holding, and then we could tell all of the viewers in chat to go join our Discord if you're not. And you can see pictures of Cleo's booper snoot. I'm Look, just saying. Everyone has dumb names for their dogs, okay? Everyone. What about that ludicrous display last night? What ludicrous display? I don't watch baseball. Well, I don't watch Major League Baseball. I don't watch baseball at all. <laughs> I don't think Taryn knows what he's talking about. I've... I've... There is a picture of my idiot. Okay, so I think In I think Discord. Yay! I think we're good hit points wise. I don't know. I think so. You're Still not gaining any. Fighter. You're not gaining any more hit points. Let's see if I can grab the shield. You can't have any more shields. Let me check out my ear. Uh, yes. Okay, weapon. Oh! Okay. Okay, someone yeah. has a shield. That Yay. should help a little bit. Hopefully. Hmm. 
Uh, Clunk Noah expires in 1986. What? Well, when you, you'll you'll see when we get back to the to the menu. No shield, no shirt, no service. See, expires 1986. Huh. <laughs> She's overdue. If only I had expired in 1986. <laughs> okay. Yay, more bucklers. Okay, so I think what you- I think you have to switch your selected character to the, to the second one there. Yeah, it's already- it does that automatically. No, no, I mean the- the third one. Why? So that they can pick up a buckler. Oh, how do I do that again? Uh, one of the buttons- uh, one of the face buttons- switches there it is one of the one of the face buttons switches the little lamp it's not a menu item it's a face button oh damn it uh... so okay uh -huh. yeah that button switches who you're controlling and then there's another button that changes it from red to blue and when it's blue you're only controlling the one Yay, buckler. Buckler. Oh, sorry. Keychain. Okay. Uh this music is top tier. A plus. Well done. Can you remember anyone remember which door it came from? Uh oh, that one. Okay. We're gonna go over. Someone be here. Oh, it's dead. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Did I get bedoobled? Uh uh. I did get bedoobled. Is he just leaning against the pillar or is he mid dash? Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Doge. Oh. Uh, Throat Wobbler Mangrove was making a reference to the, uh, to the IT crowd? It crowd? I don't know how it's pronounced. IT. Okay. Because they work in IT. That's right. The, that's the thing. Um, so, which I have not watched a whole lot of. Okay, that dude is just... Oh, we are fighting this one for some reason. I feel like he's trying to run away. <laughs> yeah, like, let him go. Why is he... Why do we gotta... Why do we gotta be this way? You can't have any more... Desks. What is that? I don't know. It's got a red dot on it. Oh, it's pr the sword. It, it is, is key. Key. You can't have any more key? Well, I guess you don't have any pants, so you probably don't have <laughs> pockets. I'll have you know. <laughs> Women can keep a lot in their bras. Uh, I would just like to point out that if the dot that is the key is what I think it is... Oh, hold on. Prince Horkin goes into a rage as he hears oh, what happened to his sister. <laughs> Prince Hordka, Princess Hordka was abducted by Prince Hankin's troops. What? How dare you brazenly return him with such news? Hankin's cannon will make your money strong so you can overcome all dangers. Why are you going so fast? Now go so quickly and rescue Princess Hordka from that place. I am not fighting him. Let me beat my meat in peace. <laughs> Do, 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 
do 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 Hey, wait, don't go in there. What the? Hold, hold on, hold on. Hold what a this. lovely bathroom. This. It is like curates. You can't have any more! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, could one of your other characters have more? Item? You have a lot of item. You have a couple of empty files. I don't know how useful those are. Mm. They're just you just have some bottles. They're special bottles. We also have a bunch of rings. <laughs> this music is gonna drive me mad. ring and a star ring. I got a whole jewelry collection. Nice. Could probably sell that to a pawn shop for good cash. <sighs> do, 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 do. <laughs> also, what, what is with these, like, fucking... Christmas lights on the menu. Why are they all blinky? Mm. Okay, can I now pick up this fancy suit of armor? What the fuck? Maybe one of your Morning. other characters can pick it up? Yeah, I'm taking key. Hooray! Maybe maybe you work. have too much armor? Maybe. So if another character does isn't carrying as much armor, maybe you can pick it up? Well she's not wearing pants. Maybe she can pick it up. Ah! Yay! Put the wizard in the heavy armor. Sure, why not? Because this game doesn't give any indication as to whether or not that's okay. None at all. Short sword, buckler, shirt. Oh, it doesn't even show up. She can't wear it. Shit. So you'll have to give it to one of your other party members. Bloob is oh. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Doomkampf. Uh... Uh, Doomkampf doesn't have any more than this. Okay, so I guess I'll just hold on to it. But, uh, go back to Doomkampf, because it sounds like she's carrying a bunch of shit. I already checked her. Doomkampf. Mm. Oh, you only took the cuirass. You left the pants. Those <laughs> pants? You can't have any more pants. Zero is enough pants. <laughs> oh man. A little priestess there is just having the time of her life. Look at that. I'm gonna figure out this stupid toilet if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> How the hell do you use this? <laughs> Um, so we're looking forward to hopefully by, hopefully by next weekend, we'll have all the equipment that Cleo needs to move her, 
uh, streaming environment to her living room. Blah, 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 he's blah, he's blah. in a rage. In a cage. Bum, 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 bum. Um. Yay! I have another key. Okay, we've got lots of keys now. These are the prince's rooms. No one may enter them. How did you okay. get in? Please leave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, there's a sh there's a red thing. There's a shiny. There's nothing you could take. Nice. Can you look at it? What is what is the shiny? So there's a red little red dot. Usually means there's a thing. Right. No, there's nothing unusual. Uh, there's nothing you can take. There's Fine. Nothing you can Stupid push. Stupid red-nosed table. <laughs> Rudolph the red-nosed table. All of the other tables used to sit around because they're tables. They okay, never let so... poor table... Doop Prince doop 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 doop. Huffy Pants is pissy because his sister is dead, and that's my fault, I guess. Uh, no, didn't she say? Didn't he say she was kidnapped? Yeah, but didn't she die? No, her castle just got raised. So, I guess she's been kidnapped, and we have to go save her. <clears throat> I wonder if the breeze is because of the open windows. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. All right, now All right. we have to make a mad dash across. Now you start the world oh, to right, find. Oh right. How do I? Where's my map? How do I find? Uh, was it the select button? Which would be the left nibbly to the left of your. It is not. That is not doing anything. Uh, try pressing it while you're out in the world map. Um. Right. Uh. Press R. Hmm. There we go. Right. Now try select. Hey! Huh. We got there. Alright, so. Alright, so the. The dungeon. Or the. First of all, we should probably go to Anak to resurrect your fighter. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to do. Okay. So we have to walk backwards over the line again? Yeah. Alright. Do you think it's this to, way? To the east! East! Water! <laughs> Run away from I water. And squim! Squim? Yes, squim. I don't care. <laughs> but how will you get the XP's? When I have another character go away. <laughs> eh. Oh my god. <laughs> clickety clackety clickety clackety. Can I look at my... uh, oh, I'm heading in the wrong direction. Okay. Yes, you're going south. So you need to turn left 90 degrees ish. I can't see the expression I'm making, but it is not amused. Um. I would like to point out how... What, what a remarkable lack of imagination this game has. Oh no, there's stars! Uh -oh. Fuck! Fuck me! <laughs> oh, oh no! Uh, uh, those ones are- those ones are flashing! Uh, Shit! I'm still going the wrong way. Okay. Uh, t more to the left. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Scary stars. I don't wanna. Uh, 
keep going that way, you'll come to the you'll come to the sparkly road eventually. I thought I already saw the. Oh, I passed the sparkly road. Already. Oh, I guess it's just gone, and we can just go now. Run! Yay! No! 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 There are stars you don't understand. <laughs> the spooky stars. All right. So where is? Right. Lack of imagination. Like, the monsters are all just, like, lizard man. <laughs> okay, so okay. take take a right. Go mm. yonder. Ah, I'm used to... The used monsters to are all just, like, lizard man or large... <laughs> bonk, bonk. Fucking trees. Lizard man or large Whoa. creature. <laughs> what the no hell? <laughs> That was that was just an alien. Uh, take, go go south. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> no! Ah, no! Run away! Fuck, fuck no! Oh, did it work? No. Run no! away! Oh, yay! <gasps> it worked. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why? Why must this game be like this? No wrong. Fight you! We don't have to fight every fucking thing, ladies. We can, like... I don't know. Okay. Take a right. Figure out our empowerment there, some There, there it way. is. Yes! Nope, come on, damn it. <laughs> Give me the fucking temple. Anak! <sighs> Please resurrect our friend. Approach me all! I will be glad to heal you, despite our differences. Oh no, he's one of those people. <laughs> love the love the sinner, hate the sin. Come forth, I will I will heal you. Which one's why? Uh uh, the one on the left, the left face button. Beep. Also, exactly what differences are you talking about, sir? Is it He's because they're were pushy pushy. Is it because they're women? Is that the difference? <laughs> Is that the difference here? <laughs> And um, let's see what blue. Wait, no. Uh, uh, maybe you could give the light curace to bloob. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Who who has the who has is it Clunk Noah? No. Is it who who has? Wait, no. Clunk Noah? Ah. Yes. Give Curace. Give. To, to Bloob. Also give, give. like Grieve. Yay! Bloob doesn't, um, maybe Bloob... Are you telling me those are her pants? <laughs> Look, they're technically pants. Uh... <clears throat> In... Uh... British English pants <laughs> means <laughs> <coughs> she has a lot of stuff. Okay, Sorry. long sword, buckler, buckler. like cuirass, yes. boots. boots, nothing. No hats for you. No hat for you. Um, There's no pants either. All right, so it looks like, I think you have to drop something or give something she's carrying to somebody else because her inventory mm. looked full. Yeah, she's got like, she's got like shoes she doesn't need. Uh, so you could probably dump the shoes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, 
Don't drop shoes. <laughs> this menuing is mwah. What a good menu system this game has. That's so great. Okay. If we could find a shop, we could sell some of this stuff. Ah. Okay. Alright, boob. An armor. Bloob gets light grieve pants <laughs> pants <laughs> pants 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 it's a pants party Huzzah! we have pants finally do you remember that mst3k bit where they were trying to find some way to lighten up they were in roman times and they were trying to find some way to lighten up the party and they were like toga party toga party oh wait a minute you idiots wear togas all the time pants party pants 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 <laughs> vaguely, I vaguely remember this praise the gods for introducing us to pants look throat wobbler mangrove bloop died that's true granted it was bloop was probably by a shark Blue was phenomenally dead. Super dead. So maybe she needs those pants. Maybe they're morale pants. Okay, hold on. How did we raise Bloob from the dead? Bloob was inside of a shark. <laughs> it's magic. The sisterhood of the traveling pants. Also, can I point out that Bloob's hair is, uh, reminds me a lot of, uh, Danny's hair. Uh, Danny, D Danny Sexbang, like, right? Danny Evadan? I mean, from the front, from the back, she's got a nice long mane. Oh yeah, that's true, from the back. Of course, the walking sprites look nothing like the character sprites. Just... Okay, what are we supposed to be doing now? Um, I forget. Same. Uh, Why don't we just wander the world and fight monsters and talk about it? And gain some experience points. Today's welcome to grind stream. <laughs> Sorry, it's boring, y'all. It's but, not your fault. You know, it's the game. The stars keep attacking me, <laughs> so. This is this is just what gaming was like in the 90s. You it just grind un until you get bored and then you go fling yourself at something deadly yeah every you know most games were like this and then every now and then nintendo would make a game <laughs> <laughs> all right that's not true there were some other good there were some other consistently good game de developers there was capcom and konami and you remember when konami Made games and not just pachinko machines? No. <laughs> uh, man, what other... There was there was Square. Square made pretty consistently uh, well-reviewed games. Um, like, you could, you could pretty... Uh, Enix. Enix made some good stuff. Um, like... Which is probably why Square bought them, because they were pretty consistently good. Uh, <laughs> see who else? Who else was? Who else was making games at the time that were good? Um, I Cap, know. Capcom. Cause you had, like, I think Winfield had a. Um, a Nintendo of some variety, I think. I know when I met you, you guys had a Wii. Oh yeah. Um. And, and I yeah, think I, my cousin gave us a PS2 or something. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you had a PS2 because I remember uh, your dad had a your dad had a pinball game for it. Yeah. Because. He was very into pinball. Which, I don't blame him. Pinball's fun. Um. 
Um, he's he was really into pinball. Mm-hmm. Um, I get the feeling that he would have had like a collection of actual pinball machines if he if could he have had gotten the money a- in space. Yeah. yeah, like if he could have gotten away with it, right? Um, but I didn't start actually like playing games for realsies until God after we were married. Oblivion was my first. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, which was uh, which was the first game that really like captured you and like uh, turned definitely. you into a gamer. Definitely Oblivion. I remember um, <clears throat> the so- I watched you play, and I didn't have any speakers for my computer at the time. Mm-hmm. First time. You got me a cheap ass little headset. Mm. Um, and someone talked to me and nearly jumped out of my skin. <laughs> <sighs> oh, level up! Yay! Yeah, I've been leveling up a lot. <laughs> Yay! I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> That's fine. This is a sweet spot, apparently. Yeah, look I, at the... I don't even have to move. People just keep showing up here. Um. Yeah, see? Yeah, didn't you get me Oblivion for Christmas one year? Like, wasn't that the Christmas present? Oh, uh, no. No, it was Mass Either Effect. That, yeah, it was Mass Effect. Yes. For the Xbox. Yep. And that ti- that tile theme music is now forever etched in my brain as Christmas music. Like, whenever I hear that title theme, it makes me think Christmas. Aww. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you were really excited. Uh, the opening, the opening of Ocarina of Time is the same way because we got that for Christmas. Uh, so like when I see that opening, it's like, oh, Christmas. Um, yeah, yeah. that was a very good Christmas present. Which? Uh, Mass Effect. Hmm. And then, I remember, you remember when I went to get, uh, I wanted to get, I think it was for your birthday, I was gonna get you, I was gonna get you Mass Effect 2. Um, and, but it, I was, my plan was to go pre-order it, because I thought, I was like, yeah, because, you know, it's not out yet, but what I'll, pre- what I'll do is I'll pre-order it, and then I'll bring you the receipt and be like, happy birthday, right? And I'll be like, this is, it's not out yet, but it will be out soon. Happy birthday. Right. So Mm -hmm. I got to, so I got to GameStop to pre-order it. Um, and I was like, I would like to pre-order Mass Effect. And the dude was like, Mass Effect came out today. And I'm like, oh, "Oh, (laughs) I would like to buy one Mass Effect, please. And miraculously on day one, they still had Mass Effects. Like they still had copies that I could buy. I don't know. Like, Mass Effect was a big deal. It wasn't some small game nobody cared about. Like, so, yeah, I just, I miraculously was able to get a a copy of Mass Effect 2 and brought it home. God, that was a fun game. I still have to finish the trilogy. Um, Uh, One of your dudes is pretty low in health. You might want to. Will will Anak heal you, or will they only raise you from the dead? I think they'll heal me. Um, oh, I'm I'm sinking. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah. The Mass Effect games were very good, but I think you and I both have the same unpopular opinion. Um, which I think both of us liked Andromeda more than the original trilogy. Yeah, yeah. God, I love Andromeda. That's my comfort game. Like, if I'm just like, fuck it, I hate today, I hate everything. <laughs> um, I am gonna go shoot the fuck out of some bony faced <laughs> aliens. Like, and feel better about myself. Because in Mass Effect, I'm powerful. <laughs> 
Yeah. I My think current characters like looks like I, I went for like a sort of epic mythical Viking sort of look for her. Okay. Looks awesome. Um I think I think what I liked about Andromeda more Besides than the it being beautiful. It it was beautiful. I mean, and even at the t- like at the time it put my computer through its paces, but uh that was that was a while ago. It was it was a pretty system heavy game. Like when it came out, you needed pretty beefy hardware to get the best visuals out of it. But like if you've got modern hardware, you can you can crank the settings. Like I can play it I, I can play at 4K with everything max now on my machine. I've only ever played on console. Um but I think and t- I, you know tell me tell me if you think I'm on the ball here. I think what made me like Andromeda yes, more you do Power Stone. It is wonderful. It is great. It's my favorite game. You need to play it. <laughs> um this is a demand. You must <laughs> Stars! Ah! <laughs> Go to the temple. Stand around at the temple. <laughs> um, I describe the Mass Effect trilogy like if compare them to Star Trek, the Mass Effect trilogy was like uh, the Mass Effect trilogy was like the original series movies, the good ones, okay? So where it was like, this is really epic, it's fun to watch, the characters are pretty interesting, it's also kind of a bummer, you know, but, you know, it's it's a good story, it's a fun movie, you know, whereas Andromeda, to me, felt more like DS9. Uh, also, Andromeda has... Jump. It has a jump button. It has jump boots. <laughs> Which does that does that did open up the environment a lot. It, made it really it, did. They also fixed the vehicles a little. Yeah. I did I liked the vehicle that you drive around. I also liked terrifying Jaw. Like <laughs> I I remember I forget. I, it was like a moon planet. It had like low gravity or whatever. Oh, um, I remember that one. There's a whole bunch of mines under like orange domes and shit. Yeah. And I. <laughs> they all scream when they go towards the cliffs. <laughs> yeah. I had I had Vetra and Jaw in my party, and at one point, like I'm I'm careening towards a cliff, right? And Jaw's like, Ryder, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then I catch sick air, right? At one point, <laughs> and Vetra just starts <laughs> laughing her ass off, <laughs> and like that, which that's a really good example of one of the things that I really liked about Andromeda was that there was a lot more interaction between your crew. Oh yeah, not just elevator talk either. Yeah, like they would, they would ch- like you'd pack everybody into a car, and then your crew. And then the two people that you brought with you would just start having a conversation, learning more about each other. When you're wandering around on your ship and they're populating the area, they're talking with each other. There's like the there's the log. Do you remember the yeah. log? <laughs> Where pe- amusing. It's like it's like a tumble. Uh, it's like a Tumblr esque chat log, right? Where people are responding to each other and whatnot. So you get to see people bitching at each other about not cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> hey Braxton. Hey Braxton. Uh, so I like how the, the characters seem to develop crushes on each other. Yes. If you pair the right ones in the car. Yeah. Uh, like PB and Jaw. Yeah. They get all adorable and squishy at each other. Um, I never ended up doing Jaw. Like, like doing, doing Jaw? Yeah, I, I never okay. ended up doing him. Um, I okay. did Vetra and PB and... <sighs> I, tr- 
tried Korra, but she's straight. Yeah. I do I do like that. I know some people prefer it when the char when the romance options are all player sexual. Mm -hmm. Um but I kind of like it when characters have like defined character traits and that would include yeah. sexuality. So it's like here's a character who you can't land because they're not interested in you. I think that's good. It makes the it makes the character more you know because otherwise you have that like everybody's by trope. Yeah. And it's like that's not that's not realistic. You know, maybe everybody being pansexual you could argue that's ideal, but that's just not the way things are and there's no evidence that that would be better. Like, yeah. So it just so it just make it feels a little more real to me when you just have you know, what would you want, Power Stone? Do, 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 do. Who are like who were the options that just weren't available? You couldn't you couldn't uh, you couldn't get with the one dude who was dying. I think. Right. Although Which, his voice though. Ooh. Yeah. A good man, a good voice every time. It's one of the reasons I'm like, mm, Garrus, give. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I did him several times. <laughs> you couldn't do the DLC characters, which I believe um, Mr. Dying Voice. Yeah. Um, or the sh assassin chick. Couldn't do her. I'm not sure I wanted to anyway. She seemed like um, really up her own ass. Yeah. By the way, uh... Oh. Oh yeah. Mass Palestine. Effect so Mass confused. Effect spoilers, I guess. <laughs> I mean for the DLC characters? Like I mean, just in general, we're talking we're talking about Mass Effect. There are going to be some spoilers since pe there are people yeah. in chat who have said they haven't played Andromeda. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail that you can't find out by reading like ads. Um jump boots. Jump boots. Uh, in terms of game mechanics, it did something that I thought was really cool, which was um, it let you change your class on the fly. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, so like, you know, in the in the Mass Effect trilogy, you'd be like, okay, I'm like the I'm the soldier guy, right? Like that's my class. Mm -hmm. um, in Andromeda, you could be a soldier class now and then in the middle of combat you could be like okay never mind now i'm a, now i'm a. oh what did they call them the like psionic people um you know what i mean though right like yeah the, the, the not magic yeah the the magic the magic users um but uh what is it i should know this shit is my favorite game <sighs> I'm really mad at myself right now. Because you also can't remember it? I also can't remember it. Um, but uh, I liked that the combat felt just more free-flowy. Uh, combat in the Mass Effect trilogy had a tendency to just come to a complete standstill. Like, alright, so what are we, like... The, the combat in the Mass Effect trilogy had a tendency to be take cover, sit there, and shoot. Like, there there usually wasn't a ton of impetus to, like, get up and move places. Like, as soon as you found decent cover, you could pretty much just sit behind that cover and, t and take aim. Like, the game really didn't give you a lot of reason to move beyond the cover. I... I could see that for the first one, but I think the second encourages more movement. Why am I fighting a fire with swords? What the fucking- Ah, I just wanted to tell you about the, the goat. Uh, that was a joke that died on the vine. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to make a burning bush joke and I just... I just nope. Um... But, yeah, I could see Mass Effect 2 and 3 were a little better about movement, but it still was pretty, 
It still was pretty, uh... Slow. Sitting. Yeah. It, it was. Um... um. Andromeda, okay. Andromeda had a lot more movements, like which is best evidenced, I think, by the fact that you can shoot in midair. Yeah, that's fun. Or uh, the um, the melee from midair. God, that's epic. <laughs> yeah. Um, Especially if you put an effect on it. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> so. Yeah, just mechanically, like. Exploring felt better because, like, there was exploring. Like, like there was there was on foot exploring as well as vehicle exploring. Um, a lot of areas in the Mass Effect trilogy felt very on rails. Um, yeah. Um, and drama is very open. Yeah. Um, I did like Andromeda had a very good variety of environments as well everything from like like the very clean what was the name of the the nexus yeah uh the nexus was like super clean you know uh lots of white uh yeah uh bright lights etc and then you had the gorgeous forest planet um the you know you had the big desert planet obviously mm -hmm. which yeah. That that was a little on the empty side, but you know it's, it's a, a yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't watch Star Wars and go wow Tatooine sucks. It's a <laughs> desert planet. Have an imagination. I mean, you kind like, of do. <laughs> <laughs> right, but like you're supposed to. I do wish. Um, oh, I don't want to do that. Spoilers and shit. Fine. Um. One thing, one thing I will say, um, probably the biggest hate that Andromeda got was that it was very buggy. Um, I didn't notice. I didn't either, and that's because, like, they put a lot of work into addressing the bugs. So, like, by the time we got to play it, lots of patches had come out that, you know addressed those issues. I noticed a couple of things here and there, like at one point, Jaws cape inflated um, <laughs> okay, while Jaws we were cape, talking. That, that was buggy as fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Sometimes it, it just did things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, at one point, I caught Korra in the background of a dialogue, like T-posing for a second. <laughs> 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 but like, it was nothing... I never encountered anything game-breaking, you know? Same. Excuse me. I think Indrama deserved a lot better than what it got from the general public. Yeah. Like, it felt like everybody just dismissed it on launch and then nobody ever talked about it again. Um, Which is a pity, because it's pretty and it's so much fun. Yeah, it's, it's honestly a really good game. Um, I know... Not everybody is going to think like we do that it's better than the trilogy, but I think at the very least it's it's a worthy Mass Effect game. Like, yeah, I think it's just I mean, aside from the Mass Effect, it's it stands alone, I think. It's good. Yeah. If you didn't know anything about the trilogy, Andromeda would still be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Um like, you wouldn't be sitting there lost the whole time, like, who the fuck are these people? What the hell's going on? Like... Yeah, ME3 pissed off, like, a fucking lot of people. Yeah. Um... Mostly because... Mostly because that... I've, there was some really good shit in ME3. Um, in particular, one of the DLCs was my favorite part of the whole trilogy. Um, because it was funny. Um, I still haven't finished it. Uh, I mean, minor spoilers for I that. Care about spoilers, you know that. Well, I'm um, chat. Um, uh. there's a sequence in it where you have to use a toothbrush. It's a uh, it's the apartment DLC. Um, 
there's a sequence in it where you have to use this like sonic toothbrush to defeat a security system that lets you get into like a vent and while you're crawling through the vent Shepard is like if you'd have told me that I'd be using a toothbrush so that I could go and fight my evil clone I'd have said you were crazy <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, it was just, it was fun, you know? It was a nice break from the constant bummer that was the main story. Um, and like, if you were, if you were playing a dude, the, the bromance between Shepard and Garrus was really good. Like, um, like, they had just a really... if Like, if you pursue that, you have this, like, really good friendship between you and Garrus. I thought that was real, And they, like... You know, they cleaned that up real good. Um, the main... The main issue I had with Mass Effect 3... Was that... Was the ending where, like, all the decisions that you had been making up until that point... Didn't matter at all. Um... And I'm like... Because... Before the ending, the decisions did matter. Like, who you could talk with about what, what storylines cleaned up, all that stuff. Like, the choices you made did matter up until that point. It's just then it slowly got funneled into the ending, which... <gasps> we have a helmet. Yay! Helmet! Helmet! Uh... So... Um... Nope. Damn it. Fuck. I think, um, I know some people got on Andromeda's case for the facial animations because they thought that they were really, like, springy. I thought they looked okay. Yeah. They were kind of a little bit elastic, yeah. Yeah. But honestly, sh my, my shepherd for the entirety of the Mass Effect trilogy constantly looked like he was trying to push... A brick out of his asshole. Like... <laughs> like, I... I'll take a little sprung... <laughs> it's true, though. It's fucking true. Yeah. Um, like, I'll take Sproingy over... Like, you can tell what expressions the Turians are making in Andromeda. Which, given what Turians look like, that's impressive. Yeah, that... Yeah. So... Like I'll take a little sproingy and over the top, than under than underwhelming. Where it's like I'm trying to get into the, I'm trying to get into what these characters are feeling and stuff, and they're just like, you know, wax dummies who can't emote at all. Oh, have a good night, Tyrion. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Bye, throat warbler. <laughs> um. Helmet. What the fuck is that helmet? I don't know. <laughs> Your hat's a little big, ma'am. Or it's a little... It fits right, but her hair is just poofy. That could be. When you have big hair, hats are hard. Mm -hmm. um, if I had to say... If I, if I had to pick, like, a main weakness for Andromeda... Um... Cause like one of the things that one of the things that got called out as a major weakness was like they were like these tedious side quests and fetch quests. Um and it was like, did you guys play Mass Effect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all fetch quests. Yeah. Fetch quests and boxes. <laughs> yeah, fetch quests and box like um and in Andromeda a lot of that is completely optional. Because yeah, you can just do the the story quest. Yeah, but like you can even hundred percent the planet without doing a hundred percent of the stuff, and there's not a there's not an in-game benefit to doing everything. Like you don't get a, a re you don't get rewards, you don't get achievements, nothing. So if there's, you know, once you've hundred percented a planet, if there's still stuff to do, you don't have to do it. So if you find X quest boring, you can just leave it. Um, but... But then I would feel bad. <laughs> I didn't feel bad. The planets were all gorgeous. I fixed them. They're fine. 
Oh, I just yeah, didn't but... find the. I just didn't find every fucking bomb. And they'll be found eventually. <laughs> 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 Um, but I think if there if there was a weakness to Andromeda, I think the story did feel a little close to the Mass Effect trilogy. I can't blame them for that, though. Yeah. Um, and, like, the villain of the story wasn't particularly interesting. Um, like, the main quest... Okay, did did the main villain well, not, well like yeah, the main villain he looked kind of effeminate though, right? A little They were alien enough that it was kinda of wibbly. Um But you know, it was it was still basically it was still basically like there's ancient alien technology. Uh and you know this like ancient this like ancient power and people who are serving it and stop the ancient power you know kind of a thing and it was like i kind of feel like we've done this before yeah but at the same time what else are you going to do really yeah and like when i was playing it i wasn't really thinking too much about that as far as like a primary driving element of the story, right? Like, my objective was not to defeat the ancient evil. My objective mm -hmm. was to make planets inhabitable, right? It was just like, while I'm trying to do that, there's these assholes over here who are making it hard for me. So, if I defeat them, then I can get back to making the planets inhabitable. I'm a wandering merchant. Will you buy something for me, please? I'm starving to death. <laughs> Uh, which one's A? Uh, right button. The, the, on the, the right face button. Um. So. Damn it. Oops. Well. <laughs> it's like going into a Starbucks and you have one chance. <laughs> <laughs> to, to shout your order. And if you if you say the wrong thing, you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I would like an ice I would like an iced sugar cookie latte. We don't have those anymore. Get out. <laughs> Can I have a gingerbread latte? No. Get out. <laughs> So, so yeah, like the that I was upset at the end of Andromeda that there was only one game. Right. I felt that it had such epic potential. Yeah, like I I want to see another Andromeda I see game. More. I have heard, I have heard rumors that they want to make another one. It's just a matter of. G getting through the getting through the red tape of trying to convince somebody that you could make money with this game and you know have figuring out how to pull together the resources and the team etc cetera, etc cetera. you mm -hmm. know trying to convince basically trying to convince your publisher that you should make Andromeda and not Mass Effect 4 which aren't they going for a Mass Effect 4 I I think so. I know that there's a Mass Effect game in development, but they haven't they haven't given out a huge amount of details as to exactly what it is. Um, but I don't think it's the I don't think it's the same team who worked on Andromeda, so I don't no. think it's an Andromeda game. They're gonna fuck it up. Powerstone says correct. Um, that gives me a sad. <laughs> I mean. They might not. The first three games were good. It's yeah. just... Um, okay, what happened to the third, then? The third game was mostly good. It just... They got to the end, and they whiffed it. That happens to a lot of people. You know? 
Is this a personal story arc? No. No, <laughs> there's no reason to think that. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> They could reincorporate elements of Andromeda into 4, but the thing is that what I want is more Andromeda. Yeah. Like, like the story and whatnot. They're, they're gonna have a, they would have a real hard time bringing that story into the mainline Mass Effect universe, because that story takes place 600 years after Mass Effect. Yeah, like... That's... I don't, I don't think that's feasible. Like... It, Andromeda is it basically just like now it, gameplay mechanics sure they could bring that over but for me it's less the gameplay mechanics and more the universe that I felt was just more interesting and better fleshed out in Andromeda than Mass Effect 3 like Mass I would not say to, no to more jump boots uh, yeah the Mass Effect trilogy was really was extremely plot focused it was like it was these are the Reapers they're coming to kill you. That's the whole plot. That's all of the story is wrapped around these guys. Even the romance options that you have tend to run into like, let's do this because we are all going to die tomorrow. So why not? It's like, like the entire <clears throat> trilogy is very, very focused on the Reapers. Andromeda, by contrast, was very character focused. Um... And which is why I say like that main storyline stars. stars. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, stars. <laughs> so, so that's why I say that. That's why I say like the main story of Andromeda, like that main story arc of Andromeda, kind of suffered. Like the villains and whatnot, kind of suffered a little bit because the game didn't give. The game focused a lot on the characters, which meant that it didn't give that. Give that part of the story a ton of time although they but that's they okay did leave that open for the potential sequel there was definitely more in the works behind the scenes yeah like and the, i am deeply upset that i don't know what it is yeah like there's definitely room for sequel there um no wonder people hate in drama to then there's bad uh, power stone there's no there's no big evil monster that is only here to break shit and doesn't have a personality. <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's true, isn't it? How can I? How can I? How can I make decisions about? How can I? How can I care about defeating the villain if the villain has motivations? <laughs> Um, the the morality quote unquote morality system in, in Andromeda was a lot better too yeah, it was a lot looser a lot easier <clears throat> well in the Mass Effect trilogy it's very black and white yeah you're either Captain America or you're a total asshole like pick one or, or if we're all being honest here we all punched people, so like your Captain yeah. America with a little bit of a hair trigger. Like, there's always one dude where you're like, okay, any sane, there's no sane person who wouldn't punch this dude right now, <laughs> right? Like, yep. Like freaking <clears throat> Mother Teresa is playing this game, and she's like, no, this this piece of shit needs to get a punching. <laughs> <laughs> um. But it's it was very it was very binary and it was and the and the key is that it was entirely morality based, right? You were making moral decisions, like are you a good person or a bad person, like, um, like are you a hero or an anti-hero? Basically, it was it was morality yeah. driven. And, and the anti-hero is such a dick. He is. Like there are times when I try I tried to play Renegade. And I was like, oh, pick the renegade option here. And I'm like, oh, the renegade oh, that, option is just be a, a total asshole. Yeah, that, that, that made me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that kind of person. Um, I'm still thinking about getting the renegade and paragon tattoos. tattoos. That'd be sick. But, like, I need buck tons of money for all the tattoos I want. Yeah. Tattoos be expensive. 
Um, My boyfriend still wants to pay for one of them, but he's about as broke as I am. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of when poor people buy me stuff. It feels it feels bad cuz it's like I I know I know of the poor. I um, know he'd like he'd make sure that he could do it, you know? Mhm. Mm but I just like <laughs> So but yeah, the, um, the, the choice system in Andromeda was you picked from four options every time you had a choice and mm -hmm. they were, uh, oh, does somebody just eat shit? Yep. The wizard has died. In we go. Um, and they hey, were. Oh, fuck, I have returned. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys are the worst! <laughs> um, oh, bear. Is it dinner time? What were they? They were... They were... It's dinner time. You wanna, do you wanna right. take a quick break? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna... Minute. We're gonna take an intermission so I can take a bio break and Cleo can feed her doggo. So we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Or, I mean, you, you can. We can't stop you, but... No, we'll stop yeah. you. We'll send our trained monkeys to monkey you. I'll have Ursa look at you extra sad. Yeah. So, all right, all don't right, go anywhere. Right we'll be right back. Everybody else is having a good time. <laughs> is everybody else having a good time? I feel like we're pretty boring for a gaming stream. No, oh, we're having we're it, it's it's like it's kind of like a podcast, you know. You don't when you when you, you know people put you on in the background and just have you kind of talking and then you can get mad and disagree with them. <laughs> no. And then I'm subscribed to their channel. How dare you? Thank you for the digital pets for my booper snoot. Yay! She's a good girl. Yes. She's the best girl, though. According to several people. <clears throat> I made myself a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Good for you. It's funny how this still- uh, this holds up. Like, a lot of food when you're a kid, right? You eat it and you grow up and you're like, no, oh, this is kid's food. But like, fucking peanut butter and jelly, man. Yeah, that is... That is one I go back to on occasion, and then I'm like, My god! Why don't I eat these all the time? Have you ever had a uh, grilled PB&J? Yeah, I've done that. It's, it leans heavily into the butter, which I think takes away from the other ingredients. You just need to put more of the other ingredients in it. Although, and then I it becomes a dessert. With, I did try grilling it in bacon grease as well. Okay. And the bacon complements the peanut butter so well. Mm -hmm. uh oh. We missed our chance. It's nighttime again. Oh no. Um The stars are coming. Well, now that you know you can run away from the big scaries, maybe maybe the stars aren't that bad. Um, so, oh, so the, we were talking about, we were talking about the choices, choice system in Andromeda. Mm. Um, so the way the choice system in Andromeda works is every time you have to make a choice, you get four options and, um, they, there's a passionate option. Uh, a clinical option, uh, a diplomatic option, and a snarky option. And so those are those are the choices that you get to make. And they don't have any bearing on the gameplay itself. So it's not like it's not like with the Paragon Renegade thing where uh, if you're 
if you don't max out your paragon, you don't get access to certain abilities, right? Like, yeah. th the choices that you make in this are purely story-driven. Like, are purely story-based. And... I felt that the, um, the dialogue that came from your choice was also pretty smooth. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Ryder is consistently clever with their responses. And I never felt like I made a choice, and then whatever- what he said, I was like, that's not what I wanted to say. I right. did a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is not what I intended to say, but okay. It's like, I often felt that- with Renegade in particular, I often felt that way, where the- oh, yeah. You know, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be a snarky piece of shit to this dude. And then I'd be like, I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> right? Like... Preston. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I, huh? He needs it to get through the stream. <laughs> If you have a stream that lasts for more than four hours, call your doctor. <laughs> but, uh... How long have we been streaming? Um... An hour and 47 minutes. Hmm, not bad. Nope. Yay, more jade. I feel like you're pretty wealthy at this point. I have to be, right? Like you should check you should check your monies. Might be it Some might of those stars are trembling. <laughs> they are. It might behoove us at some point to go like looking for um Holy fuck. Wow. That dude was loaded. I have to be rich, right? Uh, there's a store off in the distant west, I think. It might behoove us to head over there at some point and maybe try to use this immense wealth that we've accumulated <laughs> to, like, buy pants. <laughs> Fancy pants. Like... Just imagine you walk into a store and you have no pants <laughs> and you look at the you look at the employee there and you're like, I need and they're like, I know. <laughs> the, Holy shit. This way. Jesus! Fifty thousand J, let's go. <laughs> that's that's cash money right there. Oops. So, yeah, very much, very much liked Andromeda. Um, Did if, you? if you like Mass Effect, I think you'll like Andromeda. You, you might not like it as much as we did, but it's it is absolutely a worthy Mass Effect. Um, I need to go out. Alright, I gotta take the dog out. Okay. She'll be right back. I'm gonna keep talking about Andromeda. Um Let me just I tail it towards that little temple there. Yeah, yeah. Go. Okay. Um So The only thing that I would say is that I feel like there are a few mods that I would recommend even to new players. Um, in the same way that, like, if you're gonna go play the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters, I would recommend looking into the re the Record Keeper sprite mods, um, because they really do look they really do look a lot better than the sprites that are in the the battle sprites that are in the actual game. Um, but they're based on the Final Fantasy VI style of sprites, so they so they fit. It's not like some you know. They went crazy and they put other stuff in there. No, they, they fit. They're just uh, 
they just look better, you know. So I would say, like, if you're going to go play the Pixel Remaster, get that mod. Um, because the likelihood of you playing through it with, or with the original sprites and then being like, okay, now I will go back and play it with the other sprites is pretty slim because most people don't, like, play a Final Fantasy game and then, like, finish it and be like, wow, that was really good. I'm going to play it again immediately, right? Like give give the game its best shot at being at impressing you so like there are definitely there are definitely some mods for uh there are definitely some mods for um andromeda that i think are if not essential they really improve the game um like uh, for example inventory you know, unless you get a hard on for inventory micromanagement, go get a go get a mod that gives you basically infinite infinite inventory because otherwise you're juggling. Whoop, my sandwich. Otherwise you're juggling inventory, and like, you know, basically it's like add now I will add paperwork to my game, you know, so. Unless that, unless that's really your shtick, it gets obnoxious real quick. So you can go get a mod that makes that go away. There's there's some mods that improve vehicle handling. One of those would be a good call. Um, there's one mod that I think is uh, that I think is essential, but I mean your mileage may vary. But like they changed the way the Solarian's eyes looked. Uh, in Andromeda, which I wasn't a fan of, you know, I liked I liked that sort of froggy look that they had in Mass Effect in the trilogy. So there's a mod that lets you just change it, change it back to that, you know. Um, so yeah, there are definitely there are definitely some mods that you know, uh, and there are a couple of like patches mods where you know, sort of like the Elder Scrolls unofficial. Uh, patches um, those uh, I have returned you lucky fucks welcome back um, so there are so there are unofficial patch mods for Andromeda that help to deal with some of the some of the bugs that are still in the game that that I would consider essential but yeah if you like the Mass Effect trilogy give Andromeda a whirl you will probably like it. It's a bit gentler in experience, I think. Mm-hmm. In part, again, because the story isn't as aggressively awful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mean awful as in badly written. I mean, like, God, this It's sucks. not as dystopian. Yeah. Let me... Although suddenly I wonder. All right, this is gonna be. <laughs> what? No, 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 no! You can't come up here. No. <laughs> it's not that kind of cheer. <laughs> It does make- I can't remember if this was mentioned. Maybe- maybe you remember if this was brought up. Um, but... Oh. Did they- this is- this is heavy end of Mass Effect spoilers, okay? Did they mention in Andromeda if the Reapers are- and are in Andromeda? Or are the Reapers exclusively a Milky Way problem? They're just a Milky Way problem. Which is kind of interesting. It means that just this one galaxy is fucked. Everything else is fine. Well, to be f well, I can't I can't say that. That's spoilers. To be fair, there was the big alien thing right. in Andromeda, probably going at the same time. <gasps> Maybe that's why. <gasps> Alright. Oh, we need another Andromeda game! 
<laughs> I need to know. All right. If heavy, we we're we are now going deep into Andromeda spoilers. So if you don't want spoilers for Andromeda, clock out for like ten minutes. All right, because suddenly we need to talk about this. All right, so just come back in ten minutes. I'll set a timer so that we're not talking about it anymore. Cover your ears, children. Up yours, children. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold what on, hold on, hold on. Timer, timer, timer. I want to be fair. All right. Ten minute timer. Go. Okay. What if the thing that um, the the uh, the remnant mm -hmm. aliens in Andromeda were so eager to defend against was the Reapers? Hmm. That would be. That like would be interesting. Like if the Reapers had tried to expand or something and they needed to be fought off? Mm -hmm. Or what if the Reapers had already hit Andromeda a couple times and the Remnant were like, nah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, go, let's fix this. That would be kind of cool if like the Remnant had defeated them. Yeah. And then uh, the Reapers just turned tail and booked it. Yeah. Or at the very least, like that particular cycle failed. Yeah. Um, is that you? Yeah. It's me. Okay. Um, that could that that could be interesting, because then the question then the question comes up of like, w did the Reapers expand from the Milky Way galaxy? Did they expand from somewhere else? Have they just always been everywhere? Except apparently Andromeda, because they don't show up again. Well, you might not be at that point of the cycle yet. True. I, I, yeah. Um, true. But... The Angara were supposedly pretty advanced before, um, mm -hmm. before whatever happened with the with the remnant. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe they were advanced, and then the remnant had to break that cycle and their advancement. That would explain the um that that cloud shit, you know? Yeah. Okay. Because the Reapers couldn't come in with that shit. It would fuck them up. What if the Remnant were the good guys? Well, we already knew that. Well, right, right, but like... Like... Uh... Like, they, you know, like, basically they were like, okay, well... This is getting... Like, we know what's coming... Because... The... Because people are getting to this state. So, like, we need to, like, roll it back, right? Yeah. Which, you know, that would seem, like, disastrous to, you know, civilizations, but less disastrous than... No, because the, um, the cloud shit is revealed to be an effect of something going wrong with the core. Mm hmm They were fighting something off. God, I need to know. <laughs> welcome to, uh, welcome to controller tape game theory. Matt Pat is. That, that would be a beautiful tie-in, though. It would. Matt Pat is retiring. Pe other people have to pick up the slack. Man, now I'm really upset. There isn't a sequel for Andromeda. <laughs> Um, because what if I'm right? What if I'm right? I'm almost never right. <laughs> no. mm. I also have a banana. I need to get bananas. I like bananas. Bananas are tasty. So, yeah, that's that's my that was my. Hmm. That was my thing. Mm -hmm. That I said just there. 
but you know what? I would also be totally okay if Andromeda and the Milky Way Galaxy were just totally unattached. Yeah, so would I. Like, like, but that still leaves the question, what happened? What were they fighting? Was was it the... the the What are they? The, not the crow. Was it the crow? No. Krill or a sea life? <laughs> Whatever. What, what if it's bone... Like it... What if it's what if the it tuna? The predecessor for bone face. Right. Um... Yeah, which, again, you know, kind of points to, kind of pointing to the whole, like, retreading ground, you know, because it's like, this, the enemies are, like, trying to assimilate the people. It's like, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but I feel like there, uh, there was definitely, uh, uh. Like there were definitely hints and story drops that involve that involve like the chief Boneface being recalled back to home base mm -hmm. because he was being fucking weird and zealot and fucking fixated on the remnant, right? Yeah, it, it was kind of it was kind of hinted at that, um, like. He was a part of a larger collective, but he was also a fuck up. Yeah. Like they, they yeah. Like the, like this is not what these people are actually trying to do. This dude is crazy. No, I think it is what they're trying to do. Right, but like not his way. He's he's being he's yeah, being he's, bad. He's being like entirely too fixated on this old tech, and then it's like. His boss is like, okay, you, you did your job. Come back. Yeah. And he's like, no, but shiny. <laughs> but shinies. You know, it's like, uh, it's like, you know, Christians being like, we, we want to, we want to convert people to our religion. And then Emperor Nero showed up and he was like, I will kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> or no, Constantine, not Nero. Constantine shows up and he's like, I will kill everyone. <laughs> Who says who doesn't convert? It's like no, <laughs> that wasn't the that wasn't the what, no, <laughs> stop. I gotta go grab some. Be right back. Okay. I need you to move. I need you. You are always right under. Uh, so. Yeah, Andromeda. Fun game, good game. Not as, not nearly as epic as uh, the trilogy, but definitely, definitely a good play. Definitely, definitely a good play. Uh, this is very peaceful music. This tune, this tune I like. This tune is well written. Good, but. I think Ursa's desperately hoping it will feed her more. <laughs> more food. I am Big Taco. Put more food in. She's on a perpetual diet. <sighs> oh, perpetual diet? Yes, she gets a very strict amount of kibble every day so that she doesn't get chonky. Chonky di dogs die faster and in pain. Which is, which, it sucks. Nobody, like, nobody wants that. All those chonky pets, everyone's like, oh, you're a big chonk. No, that animal is dying. Their joints hurt. Hmm. Whoa. I, I Whoa. feel a certain way about overweight animals. There's... <clears throat> I mean, she does get treats and stuff. That's not anybody be thinking that she's not absolutely spoiled. She is. She's a very spoiled dog. <laughs> but she's not getting, like, an extra scoop of kibble because she gives me puppy dog eyes. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Look, look at this banana right here. Look at, look at this banana. 
bananas good a good ripe banana is the best color of yellow on the planet like this is the best yellow do you have the slightly green just a little bit Intimidate? no it's it's just like it's just like yellow just like good well, I yellow like them when they're just a little bit green because they're not quite as sweet and they're firm oh no I'm not I'm not talking about like the flavor I'm talking about the color like the color just looks good like this is the best yellow <clears throat> and and oh that's the timer we can't talk about mass effect spoilers anymore You know what, Braxton? You're you're gonna be in trouble in the Discord later. <laughs> you can't get away with that shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what other natural yellows there are that are better than this yellow. That There's lemons. Lemons are uh, lemons are a good yellow. I think I like this one a little better though. It's not like. Lemons are definitely a brighter, more saturated yellow, but this one, I think, it, it feels soft. You're so needy tonight. Mm. You, you can't... <laughs> you just... You, you look so excited about something, but I don't know what it is. Needy doge. What is what is good ont? Coldplay's yellow is pretty damn good. Is that a song? I don't. If that's a song, I haven't heard it. If it's not a song, I think it is a song, and I don't understand it. I think it's weird. I appreciate weird songs. I do too, but I like to at least like theoretically understand them. Cause like, I get tired of, I get tired of, I want to bone you, the song, over and over and over. Ah, right in the face. Why? Hmm. <laughs> Is it good banana? So cute. <laughs> Yeah, banana. <laughs> it came at me. It defended itself. <laughs> hmm. All right, my 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 happy idiot is. <laughs> do you need to go attend to your happy idiot? I do. Cause she's not gonna. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna let up. All right. Well, I think we've done. I think we've done enough grinding for one day <laughs> so why don't we uh why don't we save the game it's the uh it's the cartridge logo at the bottom right uh right face button thank you all right so yeah so i think that'll do for us today or i think that'll do for this stream um Panda and I will be back later tonight at 9.30 for part two of my Dark Souls 2 run. <laughs> we might, I might actually get a Lord Soul tonight. We'll see. Um, I did get my Partisan and I'm happy about that. So, um, but yeah, and uh, Cleo and I, uh, Presumably, we'll be back on Monday. And you're thinking of having me on for other days? Yes. If if that's something that you could do, we can talk about doing streams more often. Um, I'm sure everybody here in chat would love to see you more often. So. 
Oof. Hear it, my lovely voice? Yes. So if I roll, you have to imagine. <laughs> picture, picture an eye roll. Um, but yeah. So uh, as always, a huge thanks to our Twitch cheer subscribers and donators. Uh, your financial support helps us to pay a couple bills every month, and it means the world to us. So thank you so much for that. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube and Discord. Uh, got some links for you here in the chat. Ha boop. Um, we've got VODs and highlight reels and stuff like that over on our YouTube channel. I, uh, we just posted a VOD. We just posted the, um, the, we just posted the Zombies Ate My Neighbors VOD with me and Soren. Um, we've got, uh, one of the, we've got one of the Ocarina of Time randomizers, uh, on its way out shortly. That actually should be, that actually should drop later today once I get the thumbnail done. And we'll have more VODs and whatnot shortly thereafter. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see those stuff. If you, you know, if you miss, if you miss streams and you want to see them afterwards. And uh, drop in to our Discord there. We've got a wonderful community of people who would love to chat with you. So drop by, say hi, and we'll see you guys next time on Controller Tape. Farewell. Thanks for coming.